today I'm coming to y'all with an eyebrow tutorial. You know, this is something that is probably the most important part of my makeup routine. So I wanted to do a separate video on this. And if you guys struggle with having thin eyebrows or very sparse eyebrows, then this should definitely help you. And all the products that I'm using are pretty reasonably priced. So yeah, if you're looking for something in order to kind of take your makeup to the next level, then get invested in learning how to do your eyebrows because that's exactly what will just take it from 2 to 10. So if you want to see how I achieve this easy, everyday, natural eyebrow look, then please keep watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! start by just brushing my hairs with a spoolie to make sure that they're all going in the same direction so it's easier for me to apply the powder. Um, and after they're all in the same direction, I go ahead and I dip my e.l.f. angled brush into my Anastasia Brow Power Powder Duo. And I have this in the color Ebony. And the cool thing about this is that it comes with two different shades. So there's a lighter brown shade and then there's a darker brown shade. So I start off by using the lighter brown um, at the front of my brow and then when I get further towards the tail, I start to use the darker color. Um, and it takes a long time for me to build it up, but I find that using a powder looks most natural. So you know, if you want your brows to look really natural and full, then you really have to just spend some time with it. So yeah, I really love the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. It's perfect and it really gives me a natural look, which is exactly what I go for. So the key to making sure that your eyebrows look as natural as possible is making sure that they're symmetrical. And in order to achieve that, just follow the natural arch of your brows. That's super easy to do. I mean, all you have to do is follow the hairs that are already there. So with me personally, I have very thin hair, so my brows are bare. I just have to fill in all of the little bald spots and it really becomes easier with time. So the more that you practice, the easier it'll get. Now I'm just gonna go back in with my spoolie to make sure that there are no harsh lines at the front because that's exactly what you don't want. So just go back with your spoolie and make sure that it's nice and blended. Now I'm just going back in with my Maybelline Define a Brow in the color medium brown and I'm just going in with this in order to make sure that everything is nice and even and I just really love to use this because it just it touches up everything that the brow powder couldn't necessarily do. Alright, now time for the fun part. I'm just going to go in with my another one of my e.l.f. angled brushes and I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. And what I'm going to do is basically just draw this underneath my brow in a nice slow motion to make sure that it's nice and straight. And this really just helps give your brows a crisp look. The key to this is to blend so I don't really focus on having too much on because obviously I'm going to go back and blend it out. But I really just take my time to make sure that they are some symmetrical and that you know my brows are, are nicely outlined. And you only want to do the lighter color at the bottom so that's why you're not going to see me putting this concealer at the top, just at the bottom. And then I'm just really going to spend some time trying to blend it and that's the key so you just have to be patient and really make sure that you're blending it to the best of your ability and I guarantee you that your brows are going to look super good when you get the blending down and when you have a nice straight line of concealer underneath them. So you're going to see me using this brush a little bit throughout the rest of the video but this is my Urban Decay optical blurring brush and I like to use this in order to expedite my blending process. Um, I like to use it in interchangeably with my finger so it just gives it a nice natural transition and get yourself a nice brush in order to blend with and I guarantee you it'll just make everything go by a lot faster and as you see I'm just going back in with my brow pencil just to touch it up a little bit and make sure that everything is nice and straight because sometimes with concealer you may go a little bit too far up so you just have to draw back in the color. So at the top you're going to use a color that's the same as your skin so you're going to want to use a foundation. So right now I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Sandalwood 
and I'm just going to dip my angled brush back in that and just do the same thing that I did at the bottom at the top and blend it outwards. So it, the top is a lot easier because you don't need as much blending since it's basically the same color as your skin. But you still want to make sure that you're being precise so that you have a nice crisp look and then just go back in and blend it out just like you did at the bottom. going back in with my spoolie to make sure that you know everything is filled in nicely that there's not any bald spots or any sparse areas so just go back with your spoolie and make sure everything is looking good all right so now I'm going to use my elf clear brow mascara so for this part I'm just going to gently glide it upwards along my brow to just catch the hairs and try not to rub it onto your actual um, brow makeup because it may make it smear so yeah I'm just going to try and lightly get it on my hairs and this really helps to make your eyebrows look more naturally because it really accentuates the hair that you have there so it makes it stand out so it doesn't look like your eyebrows are just two-dimensional and this really helps to just bring them to life even more so what you're gonna do is just continue to apply this and make sure that's evenly coated throughout your entire brow and focus a lot on the front because that is what gives it a natural look and once it dries, what you're going to do is take your spoolie and just comb those hairs down that you just, you know, brushed upwards with the mascara and you'll get a very natural look and it'll look like it's your actual eyebrows and they're going to look way thicker than they did before. So just go in with your spoolie and make sure everything is nice and smoothed down. <laughs> Make sure that you blend out the front of your brow so it's nice and blended and that's the final step I hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is the final look please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next one bye